This is the border. This is Zambia. And then this is another country, neighboring country. In the Zambian economy, we have corporations, primarily foreign owned. Then we have the state here. And then we have the unlocked potential of the country. Then we have the labor force. These two glasses are representing the labor force. One is the labor force that is um, working. The other one is unemployed labor. So here is what has been happening in Zambia. This corporation makes um, money. At the end of the month, that money is paid to the Zambian workers. As I said, this cup or this glass is representing all the Zambian workers. So if the salary is uh, 1,000 kwacha, as it is written on the pay slip, it's full. As you can see, it's 1,000 kwacha. But remember, almost 50% is taxation. Apart from pay as you earn, remember there are workers' contributions, there's NAPSA, there are all those, kind of, all those kinds of contributions. When you put them together, they are quite huge. And at the end of the day, they are going to the same uh, cup. When I'm saying cup, I'm talking about uh, the taxation, you know, cup, the treasury. That is taxation. This glass representing taxation. So 50% is deducted. And mind you, these deductions are done at the source. This company has an obligation to deduct at the source. So the Zambian worker just sees the amount of money on the pencil. The rest goes into the treasury. This corporation too, from the money that, uh, that it has, more than 50% is paid in the corporate taxes, among many other taxes that uh, are imposed on corporations. So at the end of the day, this uh, cup which was empty, the treasury cup, has resources. And this money goes to the government, the central government. That's what happens. Now, from the funds that are here, representing the profits, this corporation is foreign. So it will take those uh, profits to where it came from. So it's this outside economy which is growing. And as this outside economy grows, it means that more jobs are going to be created here because more industries must produce what this corporation needs to sell. Now mind you, this man has gone to the, to, the, to, the, to the government. The government goes to the same corporation to buy services, goods and services, or it hires the same services. At the end of the day, money goes back to the same corporation. And this man is also representing money paid to the politicians, but they, they too go to the same foreign corporations to go and to, uh, get the services or to buy what they are selling. The Zambian worker good paid also goes to buy from the same you know, corporations who are the employers at the same time or whether it's in the civil service, they go to buy from the same. So money is going back. And then part of what the Zambian worker is able to dispose of is given to the labor which is not employed. We are talking about the dependents. These dependents do not run their own corporations. They go to the same ones to buy. So everyone is back to the same position. But the total, the sum total of uh, the money in the economy is reduced. The resources, uh, the resources envelope is reduced because part of it went outside. I don't know if you understand this. Again, the same will continue. My Zambian worker is taxed at source, so that 100% I was showing at first was just for demonstration. So at the end of the day, the Zambian worker continued to get, to, to get uh, less. That is uh, below 50%. The same thing happens. The Zambian worker goes to buy. The Zambian worker uh, gives the dependents um, and uh, gives the dependent. The dependent goes. The dependent goes to, to buy there, and then this goes to the, to the central government. The central government goes to these ones again. Remember, uh, part of the profits that they made, they have gone outside. So the economy outside is growing. Ours is not growing. So as you can see, this resource envelope is uh, declining. So as this declines, the stupid government goes to borrow from these same ones, from outside. They borrow the money from outside. And then they come. So this is borrowed money. They pour it in the same ones, the same corporations. So at the end of the day, 
there is no new money which is coming to the economy. And this is what has killed Zambia. So under UPP policy, we propose that pay as you earn must be scrapped off. Now look at what will happen when you scrap off pay as you earn. When the Zambian worker gets the money, this all this money is not going anywhere. The only little which is deducted is for social security, that is pensions. The rest is your money. So it means that we have built your capital base. You get this money, you invest in the local people. This is man, man you still have control over this. So you have given resources to that Zambian who is not in employment. Or you create your own store. You invest in your own store. When you invest in your own store, you are creating customers, you are creating employment for these ones who are not in employment. At the same time, you are unlocking the locked up potential of the country. So you will make resources and then you will tap into the, the, the untapped resources. You will have the funds. These ones, they will come to, uh, to buy from you because you are selling goods and services. From other nations, money will begin to pour into the, into, into the local economy and everybody is going to be, uh, to, uh, to be working. That's how you get the country to work. And the state, which did not collect taxation are from the Zambian worker, which is not to return the pay as you earn, will instead introduce, under the UPP policy, a profit-based kind of taxation. From the, so from the profits that you make, from here, if you make, let's say, up to that much, the state will only share in the profits, not from your personal incomes, but from your business. That's what goes to the state for, for services. Corporations do foreign when they come to invest in our country, remember, they must go into partnerships under the APP policy, 50% partnerships with the people of Zambia. So 50% of the resources, half of what they're bringing in, or half of what is generated, you can be rest assured that that is going to be retained in the economy. And the state to shares in those you know, profits, profit-based kind of taxation on the corporations. So at the end of the day, we have resources. And these resources are returned in the local economy to grow jobs to attack the potential because the state too can run its own uh, approved making ventures jointly with the people of zambia we have our gold we have emeralds we have all these resources we have mukula we can have state-run enterprises in partnerships with the people of zambia or we can have public corporations what are public corporations these are corporations in which the state has an interested party, or generally the people of Zambia have an interest, and more than 50% shareholding is local. So this is what we've been talking about. Now, as long as we are taxing the people of Zambia, as long as we have a kind of recycled political leadership across the divide, both ruling and opposition, this country will perpetually be condemned to more debt, like what is happening now. Any political leader, ruling opposition, who proposes that we must go to the IMF, we must go to borrow from other countries, is a stupid leader, and this is the trash that we have in our politics. And all these idiots that we have must be retired from the German politics.